All right. Um, when to talk about ten point four conic section? Now, what's conic? Conic, as you can see, is from cone, C O N E. Sections is really like a you know, slice, slice. Okay, you slice. Uh, so you so you slice a cone. So suppose I have, yeah. Suppose I have. So this is a cone. Now, if I slice this, there are several ways I can slice it. So, for example, if I slice it with a with a plane like this, cut it like this, cut it like this, okay. Then, remember this is a cone. So when I slice it with a plane like this, uh, what I got is is this is is a curve like this. This is on the other side. Okay. So you got you got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So if I slice it like that, like this slice that horizontally size like this. Then you see the cross section like this. Cross section. This is a circle. The cross section of this is a circle. Okay. You, you imagine you have a cone like this and you slice horizontally like this. This is it's a it's a circle. Right? So you see you need a cone. If I slice it, it's a circle. Now, however, if I same thing, if I if I slice it in this direction, skewed. Now, this is horizontal direction, horizontal. But how about if I slice that like a little bit skewed, uh, but still like a, you know touch this side. And also touch this side, okay? In in this way, then what I got the section, the slice I got is something like this. Okay, something like this. And this curve is an ellipse. It's an ellipse. This curve is an ellipse. Okay, now what if I slice it, same thing, cone, same cone. It depends on how I slice it. If I slice like this, like this, slice like this. So just, you know, take it like this, step like this. Then what I've got is this line. Can you move it up, please? I've got this line. This is what I got. If I slice like this, then I got this. This line. This kind of curve is called parabola. Okay? And if I take two cones upside down, okay, so if I take two cones. So suppose I take two cones and uh, one touch the other like this, one is like this, and another one is like this. Two cones, okay, two cones like this, and I slice it horizontally. I mean vertically like this. What do I get? I get a curve. In other words, I get a graph looks like this. If I look from it and this, I got a graph looks like this. This and this. Okay, one looks like this, this. 
this kind of one, two one together. This is called hyperbola. It depends on how you slice it. So uh, I think in our book they have a uh, better picture in our book because it's colorful. So okay, so I have a cone. If I slice it horizontally, horizontally, I get a circle. I get a circle. So yeah, circle, get a circle. If I skew a little bit, you see I get ellipse. And skew a little bit more, then the one side is end. You have one open end. This you get a parabola. Now if I slice vertically, I get this curve, this and this. This is called hyperbola. So basically, if I slice a cone, I get these four types of graphs. So I get those four types of graphs. But how, it depends on how I slice, slice the graph. I get either circle, or ellipse, or parabola, or hyperbola. It depends on how I slice it. So the, this is on page. 741 in our book, and the, the picture is very nice over here. Okay, this one is one, it's there, right? Today is a 426. Okay. All right, now we want to get a more general curve, more general one. Okay. So that's more general one. That is okay. a more general one is right now still under circles. A more general one, I want to be set to one. I just give you what it looks like. It's as nice H squared plus Y minus K squared equals 
if I have an equation like this, then this is a circle with center uh, at HK and radius R. So example, if I have say x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals to 16. What is this? Okay. So this is the circle with center, center is hk, so 1, 2. So center is 1, 2. So say this is 1, 2. This is a center. Okay. Radius 16 is 4 squared, right? So it's 4. So 4. So it will be this is 1. So it's like this. This is a circle with center at 1, 2, radius 4, so means this is 4, that's a graph for, <coughs> that's a graph for this circle. So this is the first kind of graph that you get a circle. Now, how about ellipse? What's the equation for ellipse? Okay. So now I'm going to give you the equation. Ellipse. Okay, I'm going to give you two equations. Okay, so it is like x squared over a squared plus y squared over the equation looks like this. That's what the equation looks like. <clears> or <throat> oh, it is. Oh, it is. It is. The equation looks like this. It depends on A and B. Okay? So if A is greater than B, if A is greater than B, then this one looks like this. This is X. This is Y. If a is good, you need a, a is under x. Okay? If a is bigger than b, then the graph looks like this. This is a, this is b, this is minus a, this is minus b. The graph looks like this. This is an ellipse. Okay. And this is A, it is this A is this A. This B is from B is this B. Okay. Alright. And but how about if A is smaller than B? If this number is smaller than this number, well, then of course this is going to change. So let's say this is A and this is B. Okay, then it looks like this. Depends on if, I mean, if A is more than B, then this is narrow in the x direction. 